So there's a major problem with Once Human. I've been having a lot of fun. This is the major thing that's kind of making me want to stop playing, to be honest with you. I try not to let it get to me, but it's a pretty big thing. So I've been playing. I'm on server PvE, uh, PvP 00-1 to 4, right? I started that one day one, all right? I've been trying to get all my buddies to pop in the game, and I've been getting some of my buddies to pop in the game. But here's the problem. There is not only a certain amount of players that are allowed to be on the server at a singular time, but there is a cap to how many players may create a character on said server. And my server is now full, so nobody can join said server. It's pretty shitty because... If you want to have friends that pop in and play your game or whatever, now I'm on a server that nobody can pop in. It's just me and whoever's on here. You can't have the server cap and not allow me to switch my character over to another server because I have over 24... I got 28.7 hours on one character. The only way for me to go and play with my buddies now is if I were to go and make a new character. Even though they're new new people, they're open to the world, they can't pop into my server, and that's pretty messed up. Now, I was looking at the thing, and it looks like Once Human has actually posted a statement about it. So about the server player limit and waiting queue. Why do you limit the number of players on each server? My friends and I can't uh, couldn't get on the same server because of this. After analyzing the online uh, server data, we discovered that the increase in number of players exceeded the previous expectations. When too many players are on the same server, we're just losing data. Also, too many players being on the same server can affect the gaming experience as well as players have the queue before they log in. I don't give a about a queue. If I can play with my friends, I'll wait 40 minutes in a queue. I don't care. It sucks. It definitely does suck. The queue thing doesn't really matter to me as much as being able to play with my homies. If I can wait until somebody else pops off and then my friends can get in and we can play or whatever, that's cool. Now, I do kind of get, especially now that I'm on a full server, and uh, I kind of feel like my server is a little wonky because of it. There's houses everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's some crappy little shack. Um, some cool looking buildings on my server. Don't get me wrong. Some, some of you guys... Some of you guys... Picasso. But but here's the thing. A lot of players, especially day one, they pop in, play the game, they do what they gotta do. If they don't like the game, they f*** off. Uh, anyway, so uh, they're working on improving that. So there's a couple different things that they were talking about. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. Why? If I can game experience, blah, 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 and Q. Once, uh, once Human is an open world survival building game that where resources and the map are limited in numbers. So too many players get on the same server. They have a hard time finding a stable spot to create their territory. Additional some uh, late game content such as Stronghold Conquest PvP servers are affected. Totally get it. Too much going on. I get it. Like rest servers don't have the problem. Add base degradation in there. Now it might be a little bit more of a longer term thing. We're still in the first couple days. But have your base slowly disintegrate and then that will help your resources and yada yada. Uh, or not even disintegrate, but you know how like you could do the base movement thing where you can press, press N and then pop your base down? Maybe your base just poofs, all right? Goes away, gets locked in a folder, or even gets stored in uh, every, every, every account has their magical space land. I forget what it's called. Have it get stored over there instead of on the server data. Even if you uh, pop into the server and you want to pl start playing again after like a week or two, you can just plop your base down in a new place. It gets rid of the spot that you're in and then puts in a new spot. That's just a suggestion. I don't know shit about game code, but you know. Anyway, how many servers are full now? They do put a list on here, but here's the funny thing. <laughs> this came out after I was playing my thing, and my server's not even on here. Um, I'm on the North American one. My server wasn't even on this list. So they did put this out here, trying to warn people, you know, don't pop into these servers, they're full. Try a different one, but mine's not even on there, so. This is the important thing. How do you plan on improving the servers that are full? They are going to be increasing the number. So I saw here, shortly, we will raise the limit for each server. This will significantly make uh, the situation much better by allowing players uh, to go on the server of their choice, but, this measure is not a long-term solution. You should try to avoid these servers that seem too crowded. Makes sense. Uh, but still, I'm already 27 hours in to my server. How the f*** am I supposed to avoid it? In our next patch notes, we'll keep you updated on the number of players that have registered our e-server to help you better decide which server to join, especially when you are ready to invite your friends as well. That's another thing. I keep trying to look. I don't think there's any way to even see how many people are online on your server, how many people are on your server. That would be a pretty good improvement. You know, that 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 is pretty cool, and I kind of wish I had that right the second. August update will add an invitation code feature that allows you to invite players to join your server even when your server's already full. That's pretty good. I like that. Because if you got somebody who's actually playing on it, it's not just a random popping in. 
you know, it'll help your friends connect. So that that's a, that's a big thing right there. But as of right now, man, I mean, I thought this was going to be a cool little community game. You know, you pop in, you got all your people hanging out, all that stuff. And uh, alas, it's not. And the more I keep playing, the more I think, like, am I wasting my time on this server? Should I just make a new character? But I don't really want to make a new character because I already spent all this time. I hope they fix this, fix this fast. But this one is... Pretty big game breaker for me. I'm not gonna lie, and I, I like this game. I know it's getting a lot of, it's getting pooped on by the internet for this, that, or the third stupid reason, but it's super fun, and I think it'd be super fun pop in, pop out game. It doesn't take like 700 gigabytes on your hard drive. It's a nice little 40, 40 gig pop in MMO. Seems like a cool game, but they they gotta figure this stuff out, man. Cause if I can't play with my friends, what the f is the point of an MMO? Anyway, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. I will catch you on the next one. Whatever that may be, I love you face.